everybody. My name is Brooke Armstrong. I'm the CEO and co-founder of BlockSky. Uh, with a TMC background, I've been working in travel for 10 years, and I have 10 years experience in software development and venture capital. Hello, my name is Michael Sher. I'm the president and co-founder of BlockSky. I've been in the travel business for 25 years. I founded a TMC called Seagate Advance, one of the largest independent agencies in the US that became HRG North America. I've been in the global management travel space all this time. Also here today, but not on stage with us, is a fellow co-founder, Jerry Barons. Jerry Barons, where are you out there? There's Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Jerry was with Continental Airlines for many years and ultimately ran the entire $28 billion spend of Travel Leaders Group and Zell Pro Travel. My name is Kieran James Lubin. Uh, in addition to serving as co-founder and head of technology for BlockSky, I'm the CEO and founder of BlockApps, the leading developer and platform for enterprise blockchain solutions. I've played different roles at BlockApps from core software developer all the way to external thought leader. We were the first blockchain as a service company, uh, partnered with Microsoft back in 2015, subsequently Amazon and now Google. Uh, we helped them define their blockchain cloud strategy. Um, all right, a little delay here, sorry about this. Okay, so we are BlockSky, the question is, what is BlockSky? We work with industry partners and airlines build open source, flexible blockchain solutions that support vendor-driven and travel, gender-driven travel entertainment distribution in order to lower costs, optimize pricing, and liberate the sales channel. Last month, we wrote a white paper with ATPCO. It's available here and online. It discusses our POC focusing on NDC exchange implementation for offer persistency and compliance on airlines' own websites. We'll be going through the paper in more detail here today, and I think everybody has um, one in front of them. It's awesome. Thank you, ATPCO. <coughs> <coughs> So what are the stakes? As one industry airline executive said to us, even when you book and price on our own website, there are still a dozen plus layers in between us and the traveler, each with potential for friction, cost, and fallibility. So the question is, is blockchain a part of the solution? We feel that blockchain's ability to format, distribute, secure, and verify data make it invaluable, an invaluable part of the solution. First off, uh, we're not a cryptocurrency. We don't have a token, no coin, no ICO, and we never will. Uh, in 2015, we invented the category of blockchain as a service and brought our, brought our platform to market. We believe that blockchain technology will be the new application platform for the enterprise. We're permissioned, partitioned, and our implementations are governed by industry participants in a flat and secure manner. So this is an example of an email that routinely goes out to all the agents at large agencies. Push this unnamed, air, unnamed airline until the end of November in order to drive more commissions. Sell the unnamed airline to all transatlantic destinations with a new up, un, um, one class upgrade program, waivers and favors and enhanced commissions. Unnamed airline is easy to sell. We think this is an example of a broken distribution system. It doesn't help the customer, it doesn't help the airline. In fact, I would argue it doesn't help the agency either because the customer isn't necessarily getting the right flight. So what are the problems? The email that we just saw is the product of multiple legacy systems and business practices. And from the perspective of data management, there are five key problems at play here. Multiple record types, irreconcilable records, limited interoperability, no means of verification, and a limited ability to offer. Taking a step back, so what is a blockchain? At its essence, blockchain offers four key innovations. Formatting data, where calendars view data as events in a timeline, and phone books view data as names and phone numbers, blockchain views data as transactions between multiple parties along a shared ledger. Verifying data. A transaction is posted in the blockchain only when the transacting parties uh, to that transaction simultaneously consent to its accuracy. 
In this way, all blockchain data is consensus driven and verified, offering transparency and provenance between the original supplier and the end buyer. Distributing data. Because the ledger or blockchain is shared, it is by definition also a means of distributing data. Alice doesn't need to ask Bob to distribute his data to her because Alex shares access to the relevant data store with Bob. Finally, securing data. Blockchain moves security from the system level down to the data level by formatting transactions into blocks and distributing them among multiple nodes, which means multiple parties, each offering the highest level of cryptographic security. There is no single point of failure, uh, no central administrator with a hackable username and password can be compromised to bring down a blockchain system. So what does all of this mean for AIR? We feel that this is a vision for components of technical build to help support airline goals to distribute whenever, however they want. Let's take a deeper look with one of our POCs with ATPCO, the Offer blockchain. This POC is focused on these problems. Current applications of NDC, lack of offer persistency, tax compliance, industry governance, and consistent interline agreements. The Offer blockchain can seize an offer as a consensus between three parties or nodes, ATPCO, the offer responsible airline, or ORA, and the seller. While each of these parties administer their own node governing their respective business and validation logics, the offer exists as a smart contract executed in blockchain, extended from the ORA to the seller, having been priced and validated by ATPCO. In this architecture, the seller in effect represents the traveler and is selling the inventory to the traveler. This architecture is stood up in the cloud, but can also integrate with existing on-prem facilities. The validation logic integrates with external data such as commission rules and tax table information that is validated by ATP Co. and jointly verified and timestamped in blockchain by all the three consenting parties or nodes in this architecture. The goal here is to develop technical standards that integrate with governance standards for NDC implementation, leveraging ATP Co and the other airlines' own website through API integration, and among other things, enabling next generation direct booking. We all know that the airlines want to meet every buyer on every shelf at all times and all places. But we also know that the airlines are investing huge sums of money in their own points of sale, desktop and mobile. The architecture advances both of these goals, bringing blockchain level trust, persistence, persistency, verification in the offers process, leveraging ATP Co's governance and stewardship. As a company, we believe that airlines should have the highest margin in the distribution chain. We think an oversold airplane leaves money on the table. If everything's sold, you didn't do the best job of maximizing your prices. Let's replace change and cancel with refund and reprice. Let's use smart contracts to bring changes to the 21st century. Blockchain should help support airline goals to distribute however and whenever they want. Today we are focusing on NDC, offer integrity, settlement, corporate solutions, and direct booking. And we're working with ATP Co, ARC, a major US legacy carrier, two top European carriers, a major TMC, and two, I'm going to change that to three now, top 10 global corporate travel buyers. We're focusing on the corporate travel space because we have seen from our customers they have a very acute understanding of the problems, and it's a very big needle to push on in terms of making an incremental impact in first parts of our vision. Tomorrow we will focus on one order, custom solutions, rich content, ancillaries, multi-mode multi -mode bundling, and growing the ecosystem. And we have already started those initiatives with our current partners and additional airlines and industry partners. If you're curious about blockchain solutions for your enterprise, please come find us. We'll be here for all the conference. Um, we'd love to speak with you. Um, thank you, Gianni. Thank you, ATPCO. And everybody have a great Elevate 2018.